In the previous tutorial, we have created a home page and a blog page for our website. Now we're going to continue and add some content. In order to add the content, we're going to need the page builder plugin that the team recommends when you first activate it. We're going to go to edit page, switch to the page builder mode, and start by adding our first row. I'm going to switch to one column. Insert it and pick my first widget. I'm going to go here and I can add any widget I want. So I'm going to start with this one. Now let's see. So this is how it looks like. Now the point is for it to look like this. So to do that, I'm going to go here hover over the range icon, icon, click on edit row, go to layout, and select full width stretch. I'm also going to disable the padding, update, and refresh my page. So, you can see, now it looks like on our demo site. Alright. Now I'm going to continue, add a new row. Now I'm going to add a new widget. Let's say this one. Update. And refresh my page. So, let's style the row a bit. Let's add some more padding. can see the spacing increased. And let's set a background color for this new row. Okay. Now we want this background color to stretch to the edges of the screen. So we want to make the, the row full width. So we're going to go again to edit row, layout, and select full width here. Okay. And this is basically it. You can add as many rows as you want, move them around, add as many widgets as you want. You can add uh, the bundled widgets or any other widget you want, from different plugins, or from WordPress, or wherever you want. Let's add this one. We're going to pick a category. This widget displays posts from a single category. So I'm going to pick this one. Okay, let's see what we got. So you can see how this works. Now let's say we want to add a sidebar. Like you can see. Like you can see here. So this is a sidebar. We're going to go to edit page. Add a new row. With two columns. Let's make it like this. Move it here. Let's just move this widget here and there it is row. And here we're going to search and add the sidebar widget. Okay, I'm going to update it. So right now we don't have, uh, it, it displays the regular sidebar, the default one. If I want to create a custom sidebar that will, that will only appear here, I'm going to go to Customize, Custom Sidebars, and just create a sidebar here. So let's say My Sidebar. 
I'm going to save it. Then go to widgets. And I can see my new sidebar here. So I'm going to add a widget to it. Let's say the this one. With the login link and stuff. I'm going to go back to the page. Edit the widget. And from the sidebar list, I'm going to pick my sidebar. Update. And see my page. And you can see my widget here. So as I said, similarly, you can add as many widgets as you want, combine them as you want, add as many rows as you need, and so on. And that's it. Thank you for watching.